That's show business. You know what? I gotta agree. Russia's not even the worst place on earth. You just got clickbaited, buddy. I love Russia. It's just so big. There's so much in it. Just look at this picture. What about this picture doesn't make you want to go to Russia? Truly, they are a misunderstood people. And you may be wondering, oh, I saw you already did a Vic 2 game on Russia, but it, it wasn't in the same format as the other ones. Uh, why are you playing it again? Well, because people been asking me to play HFM for the longest time, and I thought Russia's my favorite place in the world. Wink. Why not play as them? Oh, yeah, that's one of the reasons I don't like HFM. They've changed the map and everything's real pastily. Style isn't the worst thing design-wise for Victoria 2, because uh, some people may not know, in the base game without any DLC, Prussia is yellow. Of all things in the world, this right here is cursed. So you know how it is, 20k likes and I'll play as yellow Prussia, then let's go straight into the video, shall we? Oh god, why would you add Monaco? Do we really need Monaco's representation in the 19th century video game? I'm just kidding with you. Uh, Micronations are real co cool and cute and quaint, and I'm totally not just gonna yeah, get out of here. Oh god, look at that. It's the Vatican City. Isn't it kawaii? No, no, it's not. So piss off. Just like HPM, HFM is pretty much exactly the same for the most part. There's not that much that is different. HFM just has a lot more flavor to it. But um, I'm not a, I'm not entirely a fan of all of the flavor that is added. But you know why you guys wanted to play it? And I'll play it. And I, I did just tax the upper class all the way, even though I don't have a single capitalist in my country. You no, know I don't think our involvement in the Caucasus down here is going to cause any instability at later dates. I think we've got this covered, guys. Usually, I would mock you, Denmark, but not not many people want to be Russia's friends. So yeah, I'm I'm not even going to attempt nor care about what the hell the Pope's doing. But that's because I'm not a Catholic. We're Orthodox gang round here, and the Pope's a big old gay. <laughs> I remember exactly what I did last time in my Russia game, but I don't think I went ahead and just took out the Ottomans straight away. I think I took out the Prussians, but we're, we're gonna switch it up this time round. And I get caught immediately. Nice. Now, I could just go ahead and make this messy immediately, but I think we're just gonna go ahead and take what's gonna be on our border whenever we annex our puppet in Transcaucasia. Oh, damn, son. Orthodox gang really rolling up today. Yeah, I was hoping not to get caught so I could have taken three states, but, um... Now I can only take two and the borders look like this, okay? They're not gonna get any better. I'd really love if we can actually get some people in our factories, but the thing is with Russia, when you start off, uh, literally nobody in your country can read. Well, 8% of them can read and I'm pretty sure they're not reading Russian. It's probably Polish or something. I actually know if the Ottomans gonna be able to win the Oriental Crisis, not only because France has joined, but I did stomp their entire military in that war. So I noticed that Britain's still in their opium war, so I went ahead and had a quick war with China myself, just so I could go ahead and still Hong Kong before they get their grubby little mitts on it. Pretty cool, because now we have a province that has tea in it. And prostitutes, apparently. Uh-oh. Mexico's a great power. Okay, I thought Austria was bad in the base game, but things get a lot worse a lot quicker for them, apparently. No, I actually don't like Austria that much. I'm going to go ahead and let the Polish people revolt in my own country just so they revolt in theirs, too. This seems like such a waste of <laughs> for me, <laughs> Let's go to war with Kurdistan! Not even in a billion years was this worth it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, California has voting rights rescinded. I, I, how long have they been here? Uh, am I missing something? Wait a second, did we already have the Oriental Crisis? What? Are we having two Oriental crises? What the hell? Oh god, what the hell is going on down here? You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and join the Hungarian Revolution. Why not? The first time Russians joined in on a Hungarian Revolution, am I right? I got the sneaky suspicion that Austria's just not gonna be doing alright this game, are they? Yeah. <laughs> It's not going too good for them. Yeah, don't mind me. Just rubbing a bit of salt in the wound. And you know what time it is? It's time to go back to China. What's it with every port I take being filled with prostitutes? Oh, ho, 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 Mr. Austria's not feeling too good. Oh, there you go. Finally, we got peasants reform. Peasants reform, if you haven't played Russia before, is what you need because that's when all the peasants start learning to read. A little bit early for me to start messing around in Afghanistan, but you know how it'd be. Sometimes you just gotta take a trip to Afghanistan. 
can. I can't help but feel a little bit responsible for this. Yeah, don't mind if I just steal the Suez Canal, though. So the first reform I did was opening the borders, and uh, now, now everyone's moving to Brazil. Danes actually said no to the Danish Straits being opened, which means I think I get a Casas Belli answer, but the character in America's sphere. What? Oh, Polish uprising time. Yeah, I'll be seeing you around, Poland. Ah, the Japanese are the first people to have a socialist party. That's... Not what I was expecting. If I haven't done enough damage already to the Ottomans, this really is going to be the icing on the cake. Quick war over, which means we can now do the Treaty of Paris, which is going to go ahead and free all of the Balkans, to which I can now sphere and do with whatever I please. Now, usually, I would happily get myself involved in a Hungarian revolution, but uh, I'm actually over my infamy already, so uh, unfortunately, I can't do that this time, Hungary. But don't worry, I'll be back. Why are you green now? You know what? Don't mind if I do go ahead and build both canals. Oh, pan-slavism. Oh, this sounds like a good idea and totally won't contribute to a future great war. I, I just keep getting events to just mess up the Ottomans, don't I? I think that's the whole reason that I actually exist in this world. But you know what? Any reason to go to war the Ottomans is a good, good reason for me. So we just freed the rest of the Balkans and... Brazil wants to free Puerto Rico. Uh... Bit odd. But sure, it's actually got to the point now where Hungary's beating the Austrians and taking land off them without my without my help. <laughs> They've got it all for themselves. So after I beat the Ottomans, apparently I can do the Treaty of Constantinople, which gives me five infamy. But oh, <laughs> it looks like Istanbul's under new ownership. You know, renaming Istanbul to Constantinople would be a real, like, 3D chess move. But you know what? I'm more of a 6D chess player. Oh, Sweden's communist. Now, the best thing about the trouble in the Kalin thing is, sure, we could go to war later on about this, probably. Or we could just pay the Japanese and buy it off them. Which means I won't lose the entire Russian fleet, my dignity, and just about everything else that's good in Russia. You know what? I don't like the look of this. Ho ho ho! Canal time! Turks have proven unable to retake the Levant from us, despite all assistance they have received from the rest of Europe. <laughs> I don't know if this is a win for you, Egypt! I really don't! Yeah, it's really not a win for Egypt. Oh, I found a bunch of homos. Uh, ne Neanderthalanis. Homo Neanderthalanis. We're not that type of Russia, alright? I love the gays. Oh, there you go. Egypt's dead. Uh... Might have to deal with this whole Spanish shoot dam at some point, though. If the Ottoman fall from grace wasn't bad enough, they're now in Japan's sphere. Can't wait to explain to my doctor how I got RSI from building railroads in Russia. Oh, I, I wasn't even paying attention now. We've got an international crisis that has turned into, oh my god, France and the Netherlands versus England, Italy, and Germany over New Caledonia. I don't care about that though. I only care about beating up China. Just like to point out this army of 10,000 Russians was beating this army of 100,000 Chinese people. Yeah, don't mind me. Just putting down the Boxer Rebellion. There you go. I also ended up war with Spain and now we've got Spanish Dongola. Yeah, one thing I don't really like in HFM is the fact that uh, the colonizing of Africa is very, very railroaded as you can probably tell by the fact it doesn't look like somebody just puked up a bunch of colors over the map. I, I let the people vote. I, I feel like I'm already going to regret this. Oh, uh, you know, that's not too bad. I swear if Serbia just wants to go to war with Bosnia, it's not like Bosnia's allied with, you know, Ger they're allied with Germany. I hope you're ready for a world war. Good news is I just have loads of random allies like Belgium and France who are all going to hopefully come help me fight the Germans. I, um, I, I don't recommend fighting Germany. I'm uh, sure I, I'm winning these battles now, but I, I'm pretty sure I've probably murdered around 400,000 of my own people doing it. Just stole this province from China. Don't think it was particularly worth it either. Oh, for a second then, I thought this crisis was going to turn into a war between me and Germany. <laughs> Hungary declared war on Austria, who's in Germany's sphere, which means we're back at war with Germany. Although saying that, they have nowhere near the divisions that I do, so I don't think they really recovered after our last war, which means I I'm going to go ahead and make sure they never recover again. Yeah, it's a shame no one actually wants to be Germany's war, else this would have actually turned into a great war, but no, it's just... Germany and Austria versus the world. Ah, nothing like fully sieging out Germany and just watching their factories 
die. Oh, and killing Germany's factories meant that Mexico's back in the great power spot. Oh, she's got a free cast of spelling on Spain. Why the hell not? Although I did just make the French do all the fighting for me. The Spanish have immediately given up and are going to give me Cuba, which I could have taken that rest of Egypt that they owe, but no, I think Cuba's a better option. Ah, guess I'm back at all the Ottomans, although I think they're allied with Britain. Yeah, yeah, okay. Didn't even realize it turned into a great war. They're just going to save the Dutch from those pesky Canadians sieging out their entire country. Yeah, you guys know the drill by now. That right there was World War One, although I don't think it was exactly fair considering that Britain just had the US on their side, which um, they, they didn't do anything. Can I just siege down Britain? And that was, that was enough apparently. But look! We're, we're, we're linked. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it off here today. Uh, I did manage to get world power, but that's because I just knocked Britain and Germany out in both wars. Um, it was a bit sad that Africa never really got colonized to a degree I would have liked, considering it was all basically automated. But we did get Russia and West Africa in our peace deal, and China actually westernized, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned I don't know. Did I mention that? I can't remember. Maybe my last war with China, I probably said something. But yeah, China westernized. That was interesting. So maybe we could do HFM and try westernized China or something? I don't know. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Leave a, a suggestion down below if you want to see me play a different mod or anything like that. But until next time, guys, I'll see you around.